Hey there guys, in today's video we're going to be doing a little review of the Powerline F16 Slingshot. I'm just going to be doing a little bit of target practice using a couple different types of ammo as well as a couple different types of targets. As far as ammunition goes, you can buy designated slingshot ammo. These particular ones are quarter inch steel BBs, I've also seen them come in 3 8 inch. But it's not really necessary to buy designated slingshot ammo if you don't want to. You can also use pretty much anything that'll fit in the pouch like these bits of gravel, just small rocks in general, or just about anything. At this point I'm just going to set some cans and bottles up behind me and we'll go ahead and start some target practice. To show you how to load the slingshot when you're ready to fire you're going to want to put the ammo here and then pinch on both sides of the pouch and then you just draw back and you're ready to go. We'll start off with the steel BBs that I mentioned and then we'll move on to rocks and some different targets. So with the squirt cans in the background, I've used some of them in previous shooting tests, so I'm not sure which of the holes are from the slingshot BBs and which are from pellet guns. With the monster cans, I know these are the first time I've used them, so here's one of the entrance holes and here's one of the exit holes for the quarter inch BBs. Now I'll go ahead and move on to the small gravel pieces. These are nice because they're free and you can find them just about anywhere. The only downside is they're not uniform like the BBs, so sometimes at longer distances they'll fly off in different directions. But we'll go ahead and get started on these. I ran out of rocks. To do a bit of a damage report, you can see where all the rocks hit. There's really no resistance on cardboard for the rocks that are flying that far. And then the cans too took some larger hits than they did before with the BBs as to be expected. This one took a hit from a larger rock, so unlike the smaller one that goes through, it just took all the impact and then it dented it pretty well. Another type of ammo I've been playing around with are these little poppets. Now these work some of the time, but as you'll see here in a second, sometimes they blow up in the sling just because of the force when it's released. So now we're just gonna be shooting the poppets at the tree fort here. See, like that, sometimes they explode in the pouch. Or that. You guys get the idea. Hopefully I've saved our best target for last. I've got a glass bottle here. I've put it inside a cardboard box so it'll catch some of the glass shards and I'm gonna do my best to pick up the rest. I've also got a camera running slow motion so we'll go ahead and shoot the steel BB and hopefully everything goes okay. It worked way better than I thought it would, especially since almost all the glass stayed in the box, so I don't have to worry about any of it being on the ground where we play airsoft. Give you guys a bit of a close up on the damage. You can see it just kind of spiderweb cracked all the way around the bottle, and then this section, of course, is missing. With that, though, I think we're going to wrap up the target practice part of this video. If any of you guys are wanting to pick one of these up, I'll have a link in the description to where you can get one. They're pretty cheap. I got mine for around 10 bucks on Amazon. Also, if you're thinking of getting one, one piece of advice I can give you guys is that, much like a bow, you don't want to pull it back and then just hold it there. You want to kind of pull it and then release. My experience with this so far has been that when I try and hold it in one position for too long my arm gets kind of shaky and then the shot isn't accurate. Instead if I just take aim and then pull it back and release really quick then it's usually going to hit the target. That being said I still could use a lot of practice with this. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for today's video. If you're looking for more to watch, I'll have some anti videos on the right, as well as links to those videos down in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.